It is not the will of divinity that we incarnate to earth over and over again. This video tells us why we do it and what we can do to stop it. Look at this beauty in action. But what is it precisely that we are looking at here? It is not just a horse. It is a cooperative community of trillions of cells that work in utter harmony, symphony and unity for the well-being and exuberance of the whole body. Each cell is an individual and yet totally devoted to the good of all. This is bliss in action, total joy, total harmony and unity. Now we all know what would happen if only one of these cells would say, I don't want this unity harmony thing. I want my own thing, me first. We would call it a selfish cell, which is commonly known as cancer. Cells that are totally greedy on the expense of the other cells. They live off other cells and often kill the entire community. Now let us look at planet Earth, where humanity can also be compared to a community of 8 billion cells plus another few billion earthbound spirits that we can't see, but are also affecting our lives. Each human being is an individual and different cell and part of a larger group, like a family, a tribe, a country, etc., just like the organs of a body. But how do all these cells and organs that make up humanity work together? In total harmony and bliss, like in the example of the running horse? Or are many just looking out for themselves, with selfish interests and goals? Through fighting, dominating, killing, genocide and many other horrors, we see them stealing energy from each other, just like the cancer cells. No wonder our world is in such a sorry state that planet Earth is about to shake us parasites off as it evolves into a higher vibration. How did this all happen? What went wrong? Why can't these human cells work together? Let's look at it. Eons ago, some renegade divine spiritual beings left the absolute reality, our home, and entered the realm of space and time, contrasts and cause and effect. They wanted to create their own creation in opposition to the divine creation. In simple terms, they wanted to do it better than God. Chances are that you and I are one of these fallen angels. I describe it in detail in my video Lucifer's Rebellion. We fell into the realm of the relative reality with seven temporary purification spheres. Through our self-centered and selfish actions we acted against the law of love and shadowed our souls, meaning we created karmic burdens for ourselves. Through increased negativity many of us fell deeper and deeper right down into the astral and material universes with planet Earth. In my video The Amazing Earth School we can see that this planet, planet Earth, was given to us as a schooling ground for souls that wanted to return back home, the absolute reality. Here on Earth souls can undo their karmic burdens, their soul shadows, in a very short time compared to the spiritual purification spheres where the expiation of karma can take much, much longer and can also be more painful because souls don't have the buffer of the physical body. So the idea was to quickly go through this school and then ascend as a more purified, light-filled soul further in the purification spheres all the way back home. But relatively few have used this opportunity to clear their karma during an incarnation. Many of us have used this time to fall even deeper into selfishness and self-centeredness, just like the cancer cells. If we had taken our very short time here on Earth for self-recognition and to clear up our old karma and become more loving and unity-minded, as suggested in Christ's words, love thy neighbor as thyself, this Earth would have been a paradise. Instead, many of us have eagerly followed the path of selfish goals and wishes that bind us to this material world. If these worldly goals and wishes are not fulfilled or satisfied in this lifetime, they will remain here on earth as vibrational complexes and can then act as anchors to pull us back into another incarnation and another and another. Sadly, many of us have had hundreds or even thousands of incarnations 
and very little soul growth to show for, often getting stuck in the same group, religion or culture without any progress. These countless repeated incarnations are not the wish of divinity. It is like repeating our third grade class over and over again. That would be foolish, wouldn't it? With time, these repeated incarnations have made us more and more earthbound instead of heavenbound or homebound to the place from where we once came. See my video, The Path of the Soul. Some people are worried that when they die, some evil entity or alien might push them back into another incarnation. No, most likely it's our own unfulfilled worldly wishes and our cravings for physical pleasures that pull us back into physicality over and over again. But let's be honest, are we really having fun here? If we look closely at all the suffering, planet Earth looks more like a prison for humans than a school, where countries and continents are like a prison cell for humans, each one facing its own agonizing collective karma. As I mentioned before, there is one other reason as to why we should make sure that this is our last incarnation. It is a fact that very soon this Earth will evolve into a higher frequency when it will no longer be possible for souls of lower vibration to incarnate here, because like attracts like and the new Earth frequency will be higher than that of many heavy burdened souls. They will then have to expiate their karmic burden in the purification spheres. Isn't it great to know that we can stop our reincarnation cycle? So let's get our act together. None of us have to do it alone. We have all of divinity on our side to help us to make this work. Let this be our last lifetime here on Earth, unless we wish to come back out of love to assist others on their path back to the light. Over the years, Divinity gave us lots of revelations on this subject, which are available as books. You can find them on the recommendation page of my website, lifeexplained.com. One good book to start is The Soul on its Path to Perfection. A link to this book is under this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe.